adding a content or CSS box to your HTML document can really make the content inside that box stand out from the rest of the content in your document. Now when you add some cool styling that is now available using CSS3, your content box is going to stand out even more. This video will show you just how easy it is to add a shadow to your CSS or content box. Let's go ahead and open up our editor and see an example of the code required to add our shadow. Now I've already added some basic content here in between the body tags and I've added some basic CSS syntax up here in between the opening and closing style tags within our head section that will define our box for us. And I've gone ahead and in the content area down here added our div tag that specifies the class shadow box right here in this content. So everything in between this opening div tag and this closing div tag will be inside of the box that we're about to style with that shadow. Now the way I have things laid out right here right now is that the padding, border, and margin are going to be the same on all four sides. You can in fact specify the padding to be different from the top to the bottom to the left or the right, but you'd have to spell that out even more. For example, if we wanted the padding on the top to be different than the padding on the bottom, then we'd say padding dash bottom and then put the value here. Then we'd also have the property padding dash top and then the value for that. But I want to keep things simple and basically have all four sides of the padding, the border, and the margin to be the same as spelled out here. And as you can see, I have mine set in M's instead of pixels or percentages. I think it just works better in today's different browsers, be it a desktop or a tablet or a mobile device. And with a border, by the way, I also want to point out that there's a lot more styling you can do with the border. Like for example, here I've got the border solid and red you've got different values you can work with here whether it's dashed dotted outset inset groove double but I'm gonna go with solid again to keep things simple and likewise with the color you can have the color name as I have here or you can have a hexadecimal code or you can have the RGB code again trying to err on the side of simplicity I'm going with just the color name so instead of me rambling on any further let's take a look at this in the Komodo browser first off and here is our basic box without the shadow. Let's go ahead and throw in our shadow code right here at the bottom. And that's it. We just need to have the property of box-shadow, the colon, and then the value of the horizontal, value of the vertical, and the value of the blur. And this is the color of the blur. This is kind of a grayish color that you're going to see here in just a second. Let me go ahead and save this. And there we go. Pretty nifty. Really makes it stand out. Now you can adjust the shadow by adjusting these values here, including the color of the blur. Oh, and if you wanted the shadow to be on a different side, maybe more top and left rather than right and bottom, then you can just add the negative signs here to make that quick adjustment and save. There we are. Now let's check this out on the browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Safari. I don't have Opera installed on my computer, so I'm not sure how that would work, but I believe it works in Opera as well. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on adding a shadow to your content or CSS box to really make it stand out on your document. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.